Are you changing out of your daytime PJs and putting on your nighttime PJs? Today I'm going to show you how to stop wearing your PJs all day. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. You know my whole goal, everything I do here is to help you look and feel your best every single day. This video uh, is something that came about as a result of a comment that I got in my reverse closet edit and wardrobe building boot camp, which just finished. And uh, one of the members of the, of the boot camp said, you know, it's really hard to motivate myself to get out of my PJs every day when I don't have anywhere to go. I'm retired, I have a casual lifestyle, and how do I, how do I get myself out of my PJs every day? It's not just retired people who are having a hard time getting out of their PJs these days. Um, stay at home moms work from home people who are, don't have to be on Zoom. Like it's a real thing and it's something that many of us fell into a bad habit of doing back in 2020. I did a video on what to wear at home early in 2020 when I was just getting my channel started, um, but I felt like it was time for an update because that's a real challenge. Like why bother? Like why bother to get dressed? Why bother to get dressed? And then what do I wear if I am going to bother to get dressed if I'm not going anywhere that day or seeing anybody that day? So that's what this video is about. I'm going to, I'm going to give you my reasons. I'm going to give you my thought process um, that I think will help you get out of your, your rut of wearing those PJs every single day and recognize the value of actually getting dressed, getting dressed. It's, it's, it's a game changer. It changes everything. So let's talk about that for a second. Um, why should we get up and get dressed every day? I think it's it's critical to our mental health to have that separation between night and day. Um, you know, I've, I've talked about this before. I am not a, a professional. I'm not a me mental health counselor, but there is a... Um, there is a correlation between letting yourself go and, and, and staying in the same clothes around the clock and depression. So often just g getting up and getting dressed can be um, a, an affirming thing and can be a positive thing to do. Um, I think it's really a slippery slope that we fell into in the last couple of years where I see a lot of sites calling um, their PJs loungewear and their loungewear PJs. I think it's really important that we have that distinction. We don't want that slippery slope of, oh, I'm in my really comfy loungewear and I might as well just go to sleep in this and then I'm going to wake up the next morning and I'm still in the same outfit. I might as well stay in it a little longer. Um, not only hygienically is that not something we want to do, but we also really want, you want in your own mind to ha have a clear separation between what you wear during the day and what you wear to sleep at night. I think it's really an important distinction to make for a variety of reasons. When you change into your PJs in the evening, your signal to your brain that it is time to start unwinding. It is part of that evening ritual. It's part of that bedtime ritual. I like to proceed changing into my PJs with a bath. I do my skincare routine. I put, you know, body cream and body lotion or body oil, whatever on. And it's a whole, you know, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't take me long. Some days it's 10 minutes, but it's a whole part of the winding down process. And then putting on a pretty pair of pajamas um, is the last step in that process and really is like a signal to your brain that it's time to go to bed. If you've been in your PJs all day, you know that you're not going to sleep as well at night. So it, it, there's 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 science behind this. That don't just take my word for it. If you've been in your PJs all day or if you've been like napping on and off or you've been just really casual and and, and and staying in those PJs and then you don't need to even have that, that change to go to bed at night, um, you're not going to sleep as well that evening. So that's, that's one reason. But really that, that whole mental health aspect and the productivity and the energy and the mindset that we get when we get up in the morning and we put on clothes. So now let me back up for a second and say, first of all, that I think your PJs need to be fabulous. Let's make our PJs fabulous. Um, my favorite, favorite dream brand of PJs is a really high-end brand, and it's called Sleeper. And it says, that, this is the brand that they say made pajamas hip. They're so beautiful. They have party pajamas that are trimmed in feathers and you know, they're removable, but like, they're just beautiful, but they're very high end. There's a brand called Bon Vivian that has a lower price version of this, but still expensive, still expensive. But your PJs don't have to be expensive to be fabulous. Um, one of my favorite pairs of PJs I, is a pair of Notori PJs that I got at Marshall's for $25. 
T um, Target has their stars above line, which is beautiful, beautiful quality, really, really beautiful PJs, and they're very, very affordable. So um, you want your PJs to be fabulous. You want to look forward to putting on um, beautiful PJs in the evening, and um, and a, you know maybe a beautiful pair of slippers, and having that as part of your unwinding process. If your PJs are looking ratty and torn and worn, even more reason to get out of them in the morning. But consider updating your PJs in a way that's affordable and works for your budget. It really does change the way that you feel when you are um, at home in the evening lounging your PJs. Now, um, the second tip that I have is to to find a pair of find a substitute or a daytime PJ look. Now, I know I said you want to separate nighttime and daytime. This is going to be very different than your evening PJs, but you want to find um, clothes to wear during the day that are as comfortable as clothes that you wear at night. And that's going to, it's going to be a lot easier to get out of your PJs for a very casual day when you've got something equally comfortable, but more stylish and more polished to put on. So my suggestion is to have sets that you can reach for and set them up for the week. If you know you're going to be spending all week indoors, um, have sets that you can grab every morning. It's it's like you don't even have to think about it. You just get up, you change, you put that on, and you know you're ready for anything. You know you can run an errand if you want to run an errand. You know you can take that FaceTime call um, from your daughter or granddaughter. Um, you know you can... Um, you know, go, take the dog for a walk around the block, whatever, you know, you're ready for anything. And you're much more likely to accept invitations to be more active, to get out of the house more if you're dressed for it. So sets are the way to go. And there are some really, really cute, um, like, loungewear sets and you can get them at every price point. Um, Target has some really cute ones. Anthropology has some really cute ones. There's a brand called Four Days that has these really cute velour lounge sets. Um, and you just want that two piece set that you throw on and go and you want a comfortable, a comfortable bra, maybe a wireless bra that you wear underneath that. That's going to be um, a game changer. So Having, having um, a few different sets that you just rotate and look cute um, is going to get you out of your PJs and into one of those equally comfortable outfits a lot more easily. Um, the next suggestion I have is to consider bra-free uh, tops and pieces. So um, I love the idea of clusters. I've been talking about it a lot, but basically it's a selection of six pieces. So three tops, two bottoms, and a, a completer piece. So you can create an at-home cluster using some tops that don't require you to wear bras. Now there's a brand called JJ Winks that has beautiful braless, um, a bra-free tops, but basically they've got the support built in and it's come a long way. If you used to wear the, the Victoria's Secret bra tops back in the day like I did, they've come a long way. They're so much more comfortable and it enables you to throw on a top and a cute pair of, of you know, yoga pants or leggings or whatever and have that at home cluster where you feel cute. You Again, you can take a call, you can walk the dog, but you don't have to worry about like a separate bra or maybe it's uncomfortable and then you don't want to put it on because you really only need staying home that day. Um, so create an at home cluster that serves your actual at home life and consider investing in a couple of these bra free tops. Uniqlo makes this one. It's got heat tech technology in it. So it actually keeps you cozy. And then they have Arism tops that have built in bras that are actually keep you cool. Um, like I said, JJ Winks has a, a large assortment of both PJs and even like nicer tops and lounge tops that you can wear um, that have that built-in bra. Soma Intimates also has uh, built-in bra um, options that can, can help you create an at-home cluster that can work for your lifestyle. Um, I've already talked about separate, separating sleepwear from loungewear. I think that is so, so important. You want to know what your loungewear drawer or section is and your pajama section is, and you do not want them to look the same or to be the same. You want the, that separation. I think it's really, really important. Um, the, the next tip is to consider a dress. In warmer weather, my at-home ensemble is a dress. Um, I think we underestimate how comfortable and practical and versatile 
title a dress can be. I clean in a dress. I do dishes in a dress. I, you know, get on the floor and play with my dog in a dress. Like it's, they are genuinely comfortable. So you want to look for a dress that suits your lifestyle. Maybe you want it a little bit more of a midi length. You want it to be flowy. My requirement is that it doesn't require special underwear, that it's easy to care for. It doesn't wrinkle easily. Um, and then, you know, if you can take it a step further, Soma Intimates has bra free dresses that can enable you to like just throw on the dress, be light and breezy and airy and also look really cute. And I'll tell you, looking cute and, and, and feeling like you, you're holding it together and you're keeping it together no matter what's going on in life goes a long way. It goes a long way. And that's why I'm, incur- I'm, 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 I'm on this soapbox. I'm encouraging you to find those items that work for your actual lifestyle, that check the boxes for you so that you and, 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 and have them you know, when we talk about outfit planning all the time, have them set out for the week so that you get up and you know what you're going to put on and you know that what you're putting on is as comfortable as your pajamas and you don't hesitate. You just make it a habit that you get up and you get dressed. You get up and you get dressed. Um, maybe it's right before your morning coffee. Maybe it's after your coffee. Um, and that's going to bring me to my next tip, which is to set an alarm. You want to have a time based on your schedule when you're going to commit to changing and getting ready for the day. Maybe it's 9 a.m., maybe it's 10 a.m. Hopefully it's not too much later than that, depending on when you wake up. But you want a time when you're going to commit to getting out of your pajamas and getting dressed and getting ready for the day. Washing your face, doing something simple to your hair, brushing your teeth, like that whole that whole process of getting ready signals to our brain that this is a different different phase of our schedule and we're ready to tackle the day. Um, Even if that day just means curling up on the couch and reading a book and if you get to do that, I'm so, you're so lucky and so blessed. But you want that that mental shift that you make by getting ready for the day. So set an alarm, designate a time when you're going to be dressed so that you don't find yourself changing out of your, your daytime PJs and putting on evening PJs or not changing at all. Um, maybe you can, to, to get yourself motivated to do this at the beginning, maybe schedule something um, every morning. Maybe it's a FaceTime chat with somebody. Maybe it's walking your dog. Maybe it's running to a corner store and getting coffee. Um, whatever that is but maybe something, a a ritual in your day, I think it can be helpful to just get out of the house um, here and there anyway, even if you don't actually have um, somewhere to go. It's it's just nice to mix it up a little and not feel like we're trapped or stuck in the house all the time. We all felt that and none of us want to feel that again. So if you've got the option of getting out of the house, um, that can motivate you to get dressed in the morning. But set an alarm, set a time that you know you're going to be be dressed by every single day. Um, The next tip is to consider wearing the clothes that you have from dressier events, your former favorite clothes, maybe things that you used to love, but maybe, maybe they're not um, at the top of your list anymore. They're not current favorites. They're still in good shape, but maybe not as good shape as you first wore them, or maybe not as in style as when you first wore them, or they're not, like I said, they're just not at the top of your list of favorite pieces anymore. Use those as you're walking the dog clothes, as you're staying at home clothes. Oprah stylist who I interviewed years ago gave me this tip and I never forgot it. They said if you, you know, if you're a former trendy, fun, cute clothes, but still comfortable, cute clothes, become your dog walking clothes. If you run into an ex-boyfriend, um, you're going to be like, yeah, this is this is just how I hang out. I'm so cute all the time. Um, but you're not, you know, wearing out the clothes that, that you know, you, are your current favorites that you like to wear out of the house. So if you're looking again at creating that at-home cluster consider pulling some former favorite items that are not at the top of your list, pulling them into that cluster and getting more use out of them and feeling cuter daily. That's really what we're we're breaking it down to, right? Feel cute every single day. Now, along those lines, hair and makeup always. Hair and makeup always. Now, this is different for everybody. Maybe your hair and makeup is putting your hair, like for me, when I look in the mirror and my skin looks greasy and my hair is a frizzy mess, I do not feel cute. I do not feel cute. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to go out of the house. I feel like everything is more of an effort. Oh, now I'm going to have to do my hair before I can go anywhere. It's such a pain. You know, like we've we've all been there. But if your hair, whatever, whatever that level is for you, it might be lip balm and sunscreen and putting your hair up in a cute bun or 
a messy top knot. I can't pull that look off. It looks like a tree growing out the top of my head. But it might be that for you. That might be the level for you that makes you feel ready to go out into the world. For me, it's a little bit more. I like to have some color on my face. Maybe um, you don't like to leave the house without a little bit of mascara. Maybe you and you put on some mascara. Maybe you powder your nose. Whatever that is, you want the, the portrait part to look in a way that makes you feel ready for the day. So you wanna do the hair and makeup to your level so that you are, are approaching the day ready for anything. And that's really what this comes down to. We want to be dressed for our day. We wanna be dressed for our lives, whatever those lives currently look like. And if that life involves spending time at home, you wanna look and feel your best spending time at home. Because let's face it, if that's your lifestyle, right now, um, you do not want to, to be spending the rest of your life in your pajamas. You want to live an active lifestyle and get out when you have the opportunity to get out and accept invitations when they arrive and um, be happy to like go out and walk the dog or run to a coffee shop or run to the grocery store and know that you're you're ready. It's the, not a big effort to, to get out of the house and do what you need to do. So I hope that this encouraged you and inspired you to stop wearing your PJs all day long. Um, the, 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 the slippery slope is, you know, is, is, blurring that line between sleepwear and loungewear. It's getting out of one PJ set to put on another PJ set in the evening. That's what we don't want. We want to support our energy levels, our lifestyles, our mental health, all of the things by getting up, getting dressed in whatever clothes are going to make us feel comfortable and um, beautiful that day and, and facing the day with that confidence. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know what you thought of this. I have a little mini catalog of some of my favorite at home brands and um, pieces that I think are really going to work for a, a really more casual and relaxed lifestyle. And that's going to be linked in the description box. Of course, there's a blog post for every video. So you definitely can check that out as well. And let me know if you want more ideas for outfits for days when you don't have to go anywhere. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We, I have so much coming up for you guys in 2023. I would hate for you to miss it and I love hanging out with you. So I will see you in the next video.